let's start with universities because they, mm. they, they turn out a lot of our captains of industry, <laughs> not all of them. What on earth should should they be leaving with I mean, instead of the sort of traditional MBA or whatever it is they, they leave with? Or rather, how should we be changing the syllabus? What should we be putting on there? Um, the, the sad thing about higher education, regardless of which country it's in, is that the, the majority of all higher education is, is just an extension of, the, of, of, um, of elementary school, more or less. It's the search for right answers to the questions. It's not, in, it's not empowering or encouraging students to actually uh, explore and experiment. And that's a shame. And, I, and I, see it, I see it every time I'm involved, you know, whether I give a talk at a university or involved in, in, in research projects. It's the same sad story where you're in a fictive environment. It's called school. Nothing you do. It's, it's where you can experiment. It's where you can explore without taking the real life consequences, theoretically. But in reality, everything is career focused from day one. And the students say, how is this going to help me get a better job or more pay? Or how am I going to get a better grade if I do this? It's already, the system is already creating obstacles to exploration and exploration, which is, I can't see, if you can't do it when you're 21 years old in school, how on earth are you going to do it when you're 41 in some organ, you know, corporate setting. So that's one, that's one thing I think is important, which I don't have a solution to because I haven't actually seen anybody succeed with this, where uh, you can have, I, I shouldn't be so dogmatic. There are exceptions to that, but by and large, the university systems are not, do not encourage people to take risks and to truly explore. Um, that's one thing. Um, the second thing is, um, you know, and this just comes from my background, you know, researching play and 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 the state of flow. Um, I feel sad when I meet groups of twenty-year-olds or twenty-one-year-olds who are already tapping into their their bored adulthood um, right when they're twenty-one, instead of having and, and really embracing that free thought and that sort of passion for the curiosity about life. They're already thinking in terms of basically mortgage and picking up kids at preschool and that stuff. I'm like, you have all your life to think about that. Use your time now to, to truly sort of ex you know, discover what you can do, what your abilities are. And I think most universities and higher education fail to address this. That's one thing. And then the other one, the more about failure is, and I've worked on several projects in the past, past year, past two years, is how to help this, particularly the high performing uh, students, the super high performing students uh, are often the ones that are the most afraid of failure and how to help them uh, both sort of gain confidence in their ability to uh, recover from and deal with failure and also to increase their willingness to take those risks. Um, but that's more specific failure. 